Hello, let me just read you something. We all have fears, but if we can't face the small ones, how will we face the big ones? K is afraid to fly a little blue kite, but K is also very, very brave, and overcoming this small fear will lead him on a great adventure. Remember, all great adventures start with one little moment. You know the one. It's like a gentle breeze whispering in your ear what you already know by heart. Not even the sky is the limit. This is uh, from the book by Mark C. Danielewski, The Little Blue, uh, the Little Blue Kite. And <laughs> I must tell you, I read a little bit earlier from it. And I'm on page 13 now. And yeah, I just stopped because <laughs> it made me instantly cry. And this is a picture book. Um, but yeah, I think the, the reason why it made me cry is a good reason. It's because I think he wrote a book that's going to affect so many people in so many good ways. And his literally transform the way I look at picture books anyway. Um, it's the first book I ever encountered, first picture book that's designed like it, like this and it's no surprise coming from Mark. Um, his uh, first book that I read was House of Leaves which you, if you have read you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a unique book, huh? it's a unique book. So uh, yeah, the other thing is written here, as you can see. The other thing uh, you might want to know about this book is that there are at least three ways to read it. The first takes only a few minutes, just follow the rainbow. In fact, if you have a little extra time, you can read it right now. The second takes only a little bit longer. Just follow the words hello the blue and red and the, rain and the rainbow words too. For the third way, just start at the beginning. <laughs> it's so awesome. I'll read you a little fragment, uh, the one on, uh, on the page I was telling you that just made me tear up a bit because I feel good things are coming. Um, hopefully it will be okay with Mark if I share this. Um, so now I'll read you from, from this. Now what, you might ask, is the Mark. The Mark has been around for, for a long, long time. And it affects everyone. Some are blinded by it, others blind to it, while a few, if rumors are true, have escaped it entirely. In the murk you feel surrounded, bound up, and even on the clearest day, buried in a haze, as if you were drowning but still just able to breathe. No bars mark the murk, but all around is a cage. Ah, this book. <laughs> I haven't even finished it and I just want to say thank you Mr. Mark C. Danielewski for, sorry if I'm butchering your name, so um, thank you so much for writing this book. I just, yeah, I just think it's going to be helpful for so many people and just read this, good depends on granting others place and that requires courage. So excited to read this book, to finish reading it. Thank you, thank you again for sharing this. And aren't these uh, first pages so beautifully covered, uh, colored? So yeah, also by Mark. Please go check out this book. I'm just gonna start reading it. <laughs> I mean, continue reading it, and I'll probably update you. <laughs> Um, okay, thank you for listening. Have a lovely afternoon.